Welcome back. This is Bhavani Kola and I've been having a blast trying out different coding tools. Now, let me be clear. I'm not a coder, but watching these AIs go head to head is way too much fun to pass. And today I'm hosting the ultimate AI coding battle showdown. You heard that right. In the left corner, we have Claude 3.7 Sonnet, the model everyone's talking about. In the middle, we have Grok3, fresh from X, bringing the meme energy. And on the right-hand side, we have our very own Chat GPT 3 Mini High, a coding powerhouse that shouldn't be underestimated. Now forget those fancy LLM leaderboards. I'm making my own leaderboard today. No filters, no cherry picking. I'll throw a real world coding challenge at them and we'll see who truly is the best. So here I'm pasting my prompt in all three models. And trust me, I cannot take credit for this one. I've been scraping X to come up with a fun real world simulation that I can use. And here I have a write a p5.js script that simulates an ant colony searching for food, incorporating their pheromone trails and using basic AI rules to demonstrate how ants explore and optimize their paths. The simulation should include real time user controls that allow adjustments to parameters such as the pheromone decay rate and speed food placement, enabling interactive exploration of the end. And I always like to add, make this fun and use your creativity. I just want to see what creativity is hidden behind all these three models. So without a further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and click go for Claude. And where is this one? Go for Grok and go for O3 Mini High. And let's see what happens. Well, Claude has been hitting the marathon race right ahead and it's giving up all the code and I hope that's not the thinking process it's the code itself and here I see Grok still thinking and O3 Mini High is reasoning and it still is reasoning and here I see Claude continuously spitting out the code oh it says Grok was unable to finish replaying please try again later or use a different model so I'm gonna retry in here O3 Mini High finished thinking and did it finish coding as well well let me tell you O3 Mini High is extremely fast and it's coding and I see Claude is competing with oh ChatGPT has completed its code and there I have it and Claude is still working on the code while this is working let me take a look at Grok here well, Grok is still thinking it's been 32 seconds. It kind of messed up in between and um, I went ahead and clicked, clicked go and it's going back again. So while this is processing, I will go ahead and get ready with my p5.js website so I can just copy and paste the code and you can see which one's the best. But to be honest, GPT-3 was way too fast. And let me see how long did it take to think. Where is it? 32 seconds. And my good old friend Grok is still thinking and it's getting all the information, coding, okay. And simulation, here I have it. Um, so Claude 3, Claude, not 3, Claude 3.7 Sonnet has completed it and Grok is still thinking. So let me go ahead and pull up that p5.js. Well, oh, it's still thinking. No, it's, it's coding. Okay, so it's finally done after how long? Let me see, how long did you think, my friend? 98 seconds. Well, that's not bad. Now that I have all three models completely completing the code, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy each one of them and paste it in p5.js. Because GPT-03 Mini was first, I'm going to copy the GPT-03 Mini files code first. And here is my first web browser. I'm going to go ahead and paste this and let's run. So there is O3 Mini High. Um, I can add food. And when I add the food, I see the path of the ants. This is cool. I do have some sliders here, but I really don't know what these sliders are for as they are not named. Oh, I'm guessing this is the speed. There you go. Yeah, the speed of the ants. Well, now let's go back to the next one and let's go ahead and see which one was next. I think Claude was next. I'm going to copy the code and come back and paste it. Oops, paste it and let's run this. What is that? Okay, are these add? Okay, diffusion rate. Okay, rapid. Oh, rapid movement. Oh, okay, I see it now. And the pheromone influence, I can increase the diffusion rate. I can 
oh, I can add more ants. That is cool. And I can keep adding more ants. And let me click. Oh, I can. Add. What is that? It says, OK, you're adding food. Click to add food. Oh, this is this is fascinating. You see, as soon as the ants pick on the food, the numbers are going down from 94 or oh, 75. The numbers are going down as soon as the ants eat the food. So I'm going to place something right here to see what happens. Yeah, 99, 98. That's cool. Now let's go back to Grok. Copy this. Go back to that J5 and let's see what happens. Oh, this is cool as well. I can increase the ant speed. I can increase the decay rate. And here I'm adding food. And I see the path of the ants too. So if I add the food, it's going all the way from there to here. So let's go ahead and add random food and see what happens. This is so much fun. So this is Grok3. This is Claude, which to me, I think is a winner. It's also giving me the complete evaporation rate, the diffusion rate, complete control here. And here is GPT-03 Mini High that gives me the controls, but I don't know what these controls are. I'm just guessing. So comment in the comment section below, which do you think is the winner? GPT-03 Mini High, which was the fastest, and then the Claude, which to me does look like a winner. And Grok3 is not bad at all. Well, that's all I have for you today. While I go ahead and still play with more simulations, I hope you enjoyed this session. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe. And if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so. Like always, happy teaching and please take care of yourself. And do you know what? Don't be afraid of coding. Go ahead. Have fun. We have AI now. Look how much fun this is. All I had to do was copy and paste.